Good morning church, happy first Sunday of Lent. I'm so pleased to be here with you all worshipping this morning. So without further ado, let's get straight into our first hymn of the service. I am going to hand over the stage to none other than James. So thank you, James, and over to you. Psalm chapter 25, verses 4 and 5. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Make them known to me. Teach me to live according to your truth. For you are my God who saves me. I always trust in you. They had heard what John the Baptist had been saying, the people gathered by the river. He kept telling them, someone else is coming, someone more powerful, someone who will baptise with the Holy Spirit, not just with water. And then they saw him for themselves. Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptised by John in the River Jordan, along with them. And just as he was coming up out of the water, Jesus saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. I am very pleased with you. And immediately the spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness. He was alone, absolutely alone in the wilderness. And Satan tempted him for 40 days. There was no one else there, just the wild beasts and the angels. The angels waited on him. And when Jesus came out of the wilderness, he discovered that John had been arrested and put in prison. It wouldn't be easy, but Jesus knew what he had to do. So he began to proclaim the good news of God. In Galilee. The time has come, said Jesus. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe in the good news. So, in life we are guaranteed some highs and some low moments. A high for you could be a time where you have taken pleasure in helping somebody or a feeling of being praised for doing something well. And a low could be perhaps losing a loved one or damaging your favorite toy. In today's story, we have a glimpse into the highs and lows of Jesus's life. We are told that Jesus was led to the wilderness where he was tempted to see if he would stay true to God for 40 days and nights. 
You see, Jesus had a secret strength to help him through the wilderness. And it was the affirmation he received from his father God, where he said, You are my son, the beloved. I am very pleased with you. You see, Jesus knew how God sees him. That God sees the very best Jesus could be and was confident Jesus would succeed. And that was his strength to pull him through. So here is our challenge then. Let's take some time today to think about God's love for us and how God knows the very best we can be and will help us in our wilderness days. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we praise you for making each of us different and yet for drawing us together as one family. May our confidence in you help us to find confidence in who we are. God of love, hear yeah, our prayers. Yes. Gracious God, when, when, when the wilderness of worry makes us doubt, forgive, forgive us, us and, and reassure us. us. When the wilderness of unkindness makes us doubt, forgive, forgive us, us and reassure us. us. When the wilderness of uncertainty makes us doubt, forgive, forgive us, us and reassure us. us. When the wilderness of loss makes us doubt, Forgive us and reassure us. God of love, hear our, our prayers. Dear God, we pray ye for those who don't like themselves very much. May they hear you say, You, you are my beloved, beloved child, child. I am pleased with, with you. you. We pray for those who feel as if they don't belong anywhere. May they hear you say, you, you are my beloved child, child. I, I am pleased, pleased with you. you. We pray for one another, but in our sad moments, we may hear you say, You, you are my beloved, beloved child, child. I, I am pleased, pleased with you. you. God of love, hear yeah. our prayers. God of love, we remember all those who are suffering in our shattered world. Those who are ill, those broken by hurt and division, those under attack and those dying, give us compassion to care and, and encourage to act. May they experience your goodness today and may their strength come from knowing the magnitude of your love for them. Amen. Amen.
Now is our time to declare our faith together. So our declaration of faith will be led by none other than the Olia family. So thank you to the Olia family and over to you. Do you believe in trusting God the Father? Source, Source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son? Who, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? Who gave life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So this brings us to the end of our service. It's been wonderful worshipping with you all this morning. Just a quick notice before I head out, we have kick-started our 40 Days of Kindness Challenge. Are you wondering what this is? Well, during the season of Lent, we have decided to do a 40 Days Challenge of being mindful about being kind to ourselves, to those around us also. So if this sounds appealing to you, then do let me know, it's never too late to join. Um, simply let me know by sending me an email and my email address will be found on the website, will be found on the focus of the week sheet and I'll also be leaving that in the family service sheets this week. So simply just let me know that you'd like to sign up so that I could send you your kindness package today. Right, that, was, that will be it from me. I hope that you have enjoyed this service as much as I have and I shall see you next week.